See, uh, our prayers are to go everybody over at, uh, at, at Delta State. That's obviously a scary situation. Um, you know, we, uh, I know it's a scary situation on campus here a couple of weeks, couple of weeks ago, and, and fortunately um, there were no casualties or injuries or anything that, that occurred from that. Um, so uh, obviously anytime anything like that happens. Uh, on a college campus, are really anyway. <coughs> really scary so all our prayers are with them um, over there in Cleveland Mississippi today so but um, uh, we got to get ready uh, tough game this week for us with Northwestern State I think a lot of people saw it last week um, how challenging it is for you if you don't you know come out there and you're not prepared to play your a game um, you're you know you, you're gonna be in a battle and uh, having just just looking at some of the scores uh, not just in our league also around the country uh, you know we have the, when you're playing some smaller schools you got to have the you got to make sure you are playing and at a very very high level and executing at a high level or you're not going to win the football game so uh, it'd be a, a good challenge to our team this week uh, to come out there um, they have um, they have a bunch of uh, uh, you know a solid player got a great receiver um, dynamic, fast running backs, quarterbacks. They played a couple different quarterbacks, I know, but um, you know, quarterbacks that can uh, cause some issues, and have some athletic ability, uh, and have the opportunity, the ability to put points on the board for them. Uh, they're a very aggressive defense. You watch them, uh, you know, in this season how much they blitz. They blitz much more than any team we've seen so far this season, uh, and really come at you in a lot of different directions. So uh, we're going to have to. Uh, have to execute at a, at a really high level and just handle all the different things that are going to be thrown at us on, on Saturday. And uh, obviously being at home is going to help. Uh, we get a great crowd. We had an unbelievable atmosphere last Saturday. Uh, and anytime you play at home, uh, we expect to have that, that same type of crowd, that same type of atmosphere, fortunately. We get to play in the daytime uh, this week, too. And uh, so our fans actually can come to the game, enjoy the game, and, uh, you know, not have to really probably sleep an entire next day just to <laughs> to get over <coughs> being up into the middle of the night uh, playing the football game and cheering for us. So, but uh, I do. I, mean, I, I thank all, all our fans for an unbelievable atmosphere they created for us on last Saturday. Uh, you know, and uh, it was that was a disappointing loss for us. Um, but I mean, anytime I, you know, one of the things you look for, in, especially early in a season. Uh, we got, you know, I mean, we have the problems we have to fix. You got problems you have to go adjust and you have to fix too. And um, we make that kick at the end of the game, we still have the same problems. You know, I mean, except the only difference was we made a kick. Um, and not that that was that was the, the the turning point in the game, but I explained to our team, and you know, that moved that ball about eight feet to the left. Um, and the only difference between yes, the yesterday we had and the uh, that ball being eight feet to the left is we just have all the same issues and problems with just a big giant smile on our face, and uh, so we have got to work to get better as a football team uh, in every phase, and we got to continue to improve throughout the season. And uh, because great football teams, um, we're not looking to peak early September. We're looking to peak as the season goes on and continue to improve from week to week. Questions. Dan, what did you see out of the, uh, the offensive line now looking at the tape? It seemed like there was a lot of pressure in Dak's face the first half, and then maybe there were some adjustments in the second half. Yeah, I, you know, uh, honestly, I, I think our, our guys settled down a little bit in the second half, you know. Uh, like I said, Posey, I mean, it, it wasn't a huge rally. It was more, uh, you know, relax. I mean, I, you know, when you look at, at some guys, um, that are newer faces, they're playing their first SEC game, making making the getting used to the adjustments and the speed and what's happening out there on the field. And I thought um, I, I, I thought the guys settled down and played better. I I'd love to tell you we made some miraculous adjustment to it all. Uh, I you know as you saw I think in the second half we didn't need to make adjustments we just needed everybody go out there and execute uh, a little bit better. And, uh, you know, and, and to not, 
worry. I, I, you know, I, there, there are things to me. We, we made some really silly mistakes in the first half um, as we went back and looked at it. I mean, just silly things. I mean, kind of <coughs> head scratcher, head scratchers. But um, you know, these are these are these are younger kids still. Remember, they're out there on a the field in a crazy environment late at night on a Saturday night, uh, national television, and um, the. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, they, they got to learn how to handle those situations and learn how to execute at a high level.